Here's Daisy and all her F1 Aussie Doodle puppies. Say hi, Daisy. It's very dark in my room, so sorry. Let's see if we can. Here, little man. Who's home, Daisy? She's very protective of her puppies for the first few days at least. Very, very, very protective. What are you doing? Who's that? My son just got home. <laughs> No, mommy, close the door. We have three red merles, and I guess what we would call two blue merles, but they look more gray and black to me. But, I don't know. I think Aussie Doodle need to come up with some better names for Aussie Doodle colors, because they're definitely different than the Australian Shepherd colors. Like a red merle to me, these look like chocolate, what I would call chocolate merles. They are chocolate and beige. There's no red in them. And uh, what they would call blue merles have no blue in them. They're strictly black and gray. So I'm not sure about the blue, where the blue would come from. But they're very pretty. When this one was born, I thought he was going to be black, but then once he dried, all his coloring came out, and I was, wow, <laughs> I just couldn't believe that I had a whole litter of all merle coloring, it's just too crazy. So these puppies are about... Mm, I'd say six to eight hours old now. And they're just gorgeous. I wish I had more light in here. So frustrating. But you can just see how beautiful they are. We have three girls and two boys. One boy, Blue Merle, and one girl. And then we have... Um, one boy, Red Merle, and I think two girls. It's only been eight hours, guys. <laughs> I will get this all straight sooner or later. But yeah, it's been a long day and a long night. And a long couple of days, actually, waiting for this litter to arrive. So, I'm really excited. I'm very, very happy and so satisfied and excited about the colors we got. Daisy, as usual, is a rock star. She does a wonderful mother, and she's done a fantastic job. She is just incredible. Instincts for her, it's just like very natural for her to be a mother. And um, she thoroughly enjoys the whole process, you can tell. And she adores her puppies, so it's fun to watch her with them and she will not leave this pool except to go potty and maybe grab a bite and that's it and then she'll run run back to the pool to be with her puppies again I just took her downstairs to go potty and literally she 
I mean, like, ran upstairs so fast to get back up here with them. It was cute. Hi, oh, Daisy's my girl. It's my baby. Daisy's my heart. Daisy's a 45-pound standard poodle. She's a small standard poodle, and she's 21 inches. So these will be medium-sized Australian Shepherd Poodle Mix puppies. Their dad is a blue merle, um, blue eyes, and he's about 50 pounds, so they can't, I can't see them getting much bigger than 50 pounds. Hi, Daisy. And she's in my room with me, and she'll be in here for the, for the next four weeks. And then after that, we have puppy boxes that we put them in once they start to run around and play because they can start to jump out of the pool. And so, for their safety, we put them in um, big four by six um, wooden puppy boxes with wood chips. And um, Daisy can still get in and out of those, box, those boxes that we have. And they, they love it. They have fun in there. We put lots of toys in there for them and heat lamps and their food and their mom gets to check on them whenever she needs to and it's just it's really a great setup. But for the next four weeks while they're still can't hear or see, they'll be in this puppy box until they can jump out and then we'll move them. But for now, Daisy will be spending most of her day in here with them. So that's that. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching subscribe, and visit our website, dreamydoodles.com. Thank you. Bye-bye.